today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Alex and Lauren. We come together not to mark the scar of our relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. We are here to celebrate the things that make them unique, to reminisce about the things that brought them together, and to affirm the love that it brought them here today, and will keep the relationship strong in the future. Today is the public affirmation of their love and the bonds between them. You're adding to your lives not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and blessing of a deep trust. You're agreeing to share your strength, responsibilities, and love. So how did you get here? <laughs> Lauren is one of my closest and most valued friends. Uh, our history is deep, filled with road trips, gunshots, and all the dramatic ups and downs of life. But over the years, one thing I always knew about her is Lauren wasn't the type to settle for anything. She knew her own worth and was determined to wait for someone truly special. She found that perfect someone in Alex. Someone to smile and laugh with. Someone with a sense of humor, a personal pride, and wit to match her own. <laughs> Plus, they shared really good taste in <laughs> As I got to know Alex better, I also gained a new friend uh, whose intellect, honesty, and integrity makes me proud to be up here today. To all their guests, they are happy to share this moment with you. They have known most of you for many years. Some have watched them grow up. Some have worked with them. Others have went to school with them. Because you are the ones who have supported them and know them so well, it's only fitting that you are the ones here to share this once in a lifetime moment. Uh, as best man, Eric has known Alex for over 15 years and would like to say a few words to the bride and groom. Alex, to the man of her dreams, 
our other friend did. <laughs> But as I started to run out of time for my speech, I realized that ultimately all of the speeches led up to the same thing. Me just wanting to take this opportunity to thank Alex. Growing up, it was just me a lot. Single mom, no siblings, new school. And he was the best friend that someone in that situation could ask for. I never once felt like the new kid. From day one, he threw me in his truck and never looked back. He gave me rides to and from school and soccer practice almost every day. Because for some reason, which I still don't fully understand, he was legally allowed to drive. And he was all the <laughs> he even left me with some friends before he left for college. Actually, that's why I brought Dennis along today. I can't give him back. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you're just a friend. You're a role model. And I know those things are going to transition you into the best of you. You do anything for anyone. Clearly, Lauren has already tested that theory out by getting you to do yoga on a boat or whatever it is. <laughs> and Lauren, really quick, I wanted to throw in it's really special to my wife and I that our best friends are marrying each other. But to me, you're more than my best friend's wife and my wife's best friend. I consider you one of my closest friends. This is normally the part of the speech where I would ask you to raise your glasses. However, since I'm the only one that started drinking, I'll just say cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Carrie, as maid of honor, has known Lauren for two thirds of their lives, and she would like to say a few words as well about the two. You know, it's so funny. Uh, we're so much like Eric and I. I'm also very quiet. And, very quiet. and for those of you that actually know me, you know that's a bold place. So I find it very difficult to use words to express myself, so I thought I would sing a song. Um, thanks, Matt. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's a little, a little quick for Lauren. So, as Dave said, I've known Lauren most of my life, two-thirds of my life. It's such a huge... You're my longest relationship. Um, um, from day one, we just hit it off, and we're not friends, we're not best friends, we're sisters. And we are not lucky enough to have biological sisters, so the fact that I have Lauren in my life, it's, uh, it's so important to me, and to stand here with her, well, she has stood by me with every amazing part of my life. There it is, you see? I told everybody I was going to be a robot. No emotions, but it's, it's a bald-faced lie as well. <laughs> the fact that I'm here on your wedding day is so important for me. And the fact that you have a good man by your side, thanks, <laughs> A good man by your side is, I mean, I, life is so difficult to have a partner that is truly a partner by your side for the rest of your days. I'm, hey baby. Um, I am, I'm over the moon for you, and I don't think I'll ever be able to tell you how truly happy I am for you. You are my sister. And therefore, in about 10 minutes, you are my brother. <laughs> From the first hour I've known you, you were, I've known, I hi, I see ya. <laughs> From the first hour I've met you, uh, uh, I knew this was going to be an amazing journey. So I'm so happy to be here. And since you are my brother, we have this little thing in my family, okay? Um, we love, when we marry each other, when we, we marry one person, when you marry another person, you marry them for life. It's either you stay with them or you hit the wood chipper, right? <laughs> so I say this to you, and I don't think it's I, I don't think it's gonna happen. But just in case, I have a wood chipper. <laughs> and I happen to know a farmer that might need some fertilizer. <laughs> Today is your day. You don't like the attention, but it's all on you. I'm so happy for you and thank you for letting us be here.
can't promise it will always, I will always be easy to deal with. <laughs> but there will never be any rough times, but I can promise you I will try my hardest to make you laugh, make you happy, and love you for the rest of my life.